Welcome back. I'm Tommy, the Angry Craftsman. Uh, today we finished up an install on a air system for a customer down the street. She's preparing for her thunder to arrive. She already has two bosses, so you'll get to see those in the, the video as well. Um, this was day two of it. She didn't have all the parts she needed on day one. Uh, so as we go through, I'll piece this together. We talk about some of the tools that we need, uh, some of the pieces and parts that we need, uh, where we put drip legs and why we did certain things. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so we've removed the little red ends. Put on our Teflon tape. Make sure we put it on the right way. Of course it didn't tear where I wanted it to tear. You don't have to over crank these. And that takes care of putting the quick disconnects in there. Okay, so we have a half inch to quarter inch steel bushing, uh, black iron, and then we have a half inch, half inch uh, female for the pecs. So for me, we'll run our Teflon tape on the male threads. And here in a couple of minutes, you'll see where this comes into play as I start to install the rest of the This one's gonna open up big enough. And that's together. Okay, so if you're gonna run PEX, the tools that you're gonna need are a crimping tool. Uh, this tool is designed when you screw something up, it'll take the band clamps off and then some sort of hose cutter. Uh, those are the three tools that you absolutely need when working with the PEX for the airline. Not to mention, you'll need nine or T's, 90 degrees, a ball valve if you choose, 
your band clamps, Teflon tape, and the other parts that we've talked about, not to mention some sort of clamp to hold it to the wall. Now, we will walk through what's been done with the airline. Okay, for this next section, we've got half inch pinch clamps, we've got our tools, we've got a T, and then we have what we just put together. So I know that I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna do this. camera guy's going to follow and we're going to take a quick measurement and then cut. Well, I know I'm going to put my regulator in this area here. I just need enough to make a connection. Then we go from there. Okay, so and that portion's taken care of. Okay, so I know it's gonna be about right here. So all I need to do is I cut those. See, I'm a little long. This is pointed up so that we don't create another drip leg or another area for condensation to uh, collect. If this were to be put and pushed down this way like you would think it needs to go, condensation would wind up collecting down in this and running straight into your regulator. Okay, so now I'm gonna install my quarter inch quick disconnect. Could have done this before. just because
and everything's tight. Okay, so this is where the customer's determined that the regulator needs to sit. Now we have in and out. Quarter inch or airline will come from here to here, then from here to the laser when it arrives. Okay, so after everything's together, we pressurize the system. We take our spray bottle with soapy water in it and we look for air bubbles. If there is a leak, there'll be air bubbles. Do that at every coupling, um, every joint, everywhere, just to double check and then tighten as necessary. Okay, so we've got everything complete now and we're gonna walk you through everything. Right here is a temporary fix. This air compressor or the next air compressor will actually be outside past this wall. They'll drill a hole through the side of it. We just did a twi uh, quick disconnect on it so that they can actually function with the lasers that they have. So the air tube goes up 90 degree, over to the corner, another 90 degree, comes over the door, stretches. Uh, eventually, I will fix and straighten that out a little bit. Behind here, we'll straighten this corner out eventually, or they will. We come down and we hit a, a T. At this T, we've installed a drip leg with a ball valve, so condensation should collect here and drain down there. So they'll have to drain that daily or however long is necessary. The T comes along to this T. From this T, we've installed a ball valve to be able to shut it off if there's a problem. Um, and then once again, we're back to our PEX connection with our iron to our quick disconnect. Six millimeter hose that comes into the regulator and the regulator's mount on the wall. Right here, once the laser arrives, they'll be able to just plug it straight into the back of the laser. And then the PEX goes through the wall into the next room where the other two lasers are. And we'll be right back to show you that side. So at this corner is where it comes out and we've got it pinned to the wall. From here, we have another, just like we just showed you over there, and another one there that runs. And each one will run into this setup where we have a shut off valve into the regulator, into uh, the water separator, and then the six millimeter to the laser. We can adjust here. Um, these lasers are not thunders, they're bosses. Uh, for those that are not familiar with the boss, this is how you can control the air pressure is this little screw valve here that controls the air compressor uh, for the boss. Okay, so if you made it this far, then obviously I haven't bored the shit out of you. Uh, if I did, I apologize. Uh, if you have any questions about what we've done, just send us a message uh, or make a comment and then we will do our best to answer. Uh, we went over a few of the parts needed. Uh, we really don't think we talked about it. It's, it's half inch PEX tubing. Um, the air compressor, again, that's a temporary fix. The elect Her electrician's coming to run the dedicated circuit for her uh, Thunder 35100 that she's supposed to be getting here in the next week or so. Uh, and then that air compressor is going outside in a small building similar to ours. Uh, what we talked about with her specifically is how we designed it she can install a desiccant dryer or refrigerated air dryer uh, along the way uh, at, towards the beginning of it uh, if she so chooses fit or if she needs to. My luck, I'll be the one damn installing it, so there'll be video on that if we do have to do that. Uh, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, you may see some changes behind me. We're prepping so that we are able to do in-house classes on workflow on light burn on uh, some of the other specific things that we as a business do. Uh, stay tuned. We'll hopefully have some more video coming out for you. 
I think this afternoon we're supposed to play around with some glass uh, to test out one of the uh, tech support's ideas on engraving glass just to verify his results. So other than that, I hope you'll have a great day.